I've been having a lot of fun playing with the new Rebellion Rewards card set in Splinterlands. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at where my new uh, Soulbound set stands, make some Glint Store purchases, and see how much we can improve it. If that sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you continue to like this uh, content, please leave a like. And if you aren't subscribed, why not? I appreciate it. It helps me out. Okay, with that said, um, I've been down for a little while. Uh, if you didn't know, I had to cancel my last live stream, uh, which if you didn't know, uh, we have a Saturday afternoon slash morning uh, live stream. It occurs at 1130 Eastern time uh, every Saturday um, where we talk Splinterlands and all things uh, Hive Gaming and, you know, a few other games thrown in there as well. But with that said, this last uh, weekend, I had to cancel it because I had a bout of COVID. And uh, like you may be able to hear, my voice is not the same. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm over it, but my voice has not fully recovered. So please bear with me. Now, with that said, since the last season started, um, I have not been able to go in to the Glint store and improve my um, my Soulbound, my new Rebellion Soulbound card set any. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, but just right off, let's go ahead and take a look at where I finished. Now, this is my primary account. Uh, my primary account uh, ended up with 162 and a half thousand glint at the last end of last season and it ended in champ three at 3800 and my secondary account uh, ended uh, with 57,000 uh, and it uh, glint and it ended in diamond two uh, I did take screenshots of those um, <clears throat> okay so with that said let's go ahead and take a look at my uh, set. I was in here a few minutes ago. Let's go sort by rewards in rebellion. And um, I've got to be straight with you. I've been real. I'm, I've been having fun uh, playing. Uh, those of you who have been following the channel, you know that I play in wild or I let Archmage play my account in wild, but I play two accounts uh, of brawls in two different guilds, um, one at a higher level and one at a lower level. Um, but with that said, I've been having pl fun playing with the new cards and figuring out how they interact with the older cards and everything. Um, and what's really drawn my attention uh, above a lot of this are the epics. Um, of course, there's been a lot of discussion about Olivia the Brook and with her pretty wild power mimic. If you haven't played with her much, I uh, encourage you to go ahead and get some matches in with her because she's pretty wild. Uh, the Arcane Weaver and the Night Reaper also um, are on the top of a, a lot of people's minds as far as really uh, cool cards uh, with what they're doing and the particular matches are great in. And I have to put in an extra two cents in here for the Halfling Refugee, which has turned out to be a pretty decent card and pretty interesting um, for the things it brings to the table. Now, with that said, the reason I'm bringing that up is because uh, most of these are all uh, at level one. Uh, I do have some level twos in here as well um, from my last card purchases, but I uh, mostly went in on commons and rares last time. I'm thinking about maxing out my epics as my first purchase this time around. Let's go ahead and go into the shop. Um, where my, as a quick uh, bring you up to speed, my card set currently, um, my commons are at level three and four mostly. Uh, my rares are at level two mostly. And um, my epics are at level about half and half, level one, level two. And my legendaries are at level ones, the ones I do have. As we all know, legendaries are pretty expensive. But what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up here. Um, I am going to max out, uh, I believe I have. 505,000 glint to use, and it's doing me no good there. So let's buy some cards. The first thing I always do, I'm going to buy two rounds of merits because I believe I'm going to bypass the chest this time around. I know there's been a lot of discussion about that. Gathering the Magic did a video on that, um, but I think I'm going to bypass that um, this time around, the chest that is. But I'm going to buy...
I'm wondering if I just, uh, no, I bought the tin. I was just a uh, brain fart. Okay. Now we bought those and those will be available to use. So we'll have some of those Gladius packs to open. Let's go ahead and go into the common draws and let's or, uh, oh, buy 400. That's the max. Um, I'm not going to use alchemy potions on the commons purposefully. A lot of cards to uncover, so I'm just going to let it uh, uncover them all. And then we're going to go in and do combinations and see where my set um, stands after that. Just do reveals. A lot of these cards I like. I like the Nimble Book uh, Explorer. I like the Halloran Huntress. The giant alpine skink is uh, a topic of a lot of conversation as well. I don't see any gold foils yet. There's a gold foil. Two gold foils. This should help my um, bring me up to at least level six on my commons, hopefully. Bring them more in a usable uh, situation for my account. Four hundred cards takes a while to overturn. My thinking on this is just go ahead and get the commons and rares. There's another gold foil maxed out so I can concentrate more on the epics and legendaries as time goes along. But also have the commons and rares that I can use, which are very useful in uh, my matches, especially whenever I play my uh, guild brawls. Previously, I had not been able to play in the guild brawls. Um, uh, there's another gold foil requiring rebellion because I didn't really have a, a very good selection of rebellion cards. But now this uh, kind of helps that situation out a little bit. And this is going on forever. Meanwhile, back at the bat cave. Another gold foil, I believe that's up to five, six. Okay, there we go. That should help me out immensely. Let's go ahead and close that out. If it closes. Okay, so now with that said, let's go ahead and see where I stand still got 440 let's go ahead and the rare draws will be 75,000 for a hundred let's go ahead and use um, let's go ahead and use alchemy potions on the rares okay reveal all now I've put uh, several of these to good use over the last week. I like Mariput Slinger. I like Commander Slade. Uh, Gold Foil. The Quilloon Legionary is also pretty cool. Another Gold Foil. The trick is just finding the right situations to use them in. Another Gold Foil. Another gold foil, so that's, and um, they are a little bit harder to, uh, f you know, seeing the difference between the gold foils and common foils, standard foils uh, is a little bit harder with this set. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four gold foils out of a hundred. 4%, right? So I think that's what the that's what the, the gold foil rate is supposed to be with potions. I think without potions, it's 2%. Somebody correct me in the comments if that is wrong. Okay, so finally, let's go ahead and look at epics. If we do the full 25 for epics, that's 187,000. And we are doing fine. So let's go ahead and do 
the full 25 for the epic draws and of course use the potions on those as well. Go ahead and reveal all. Gold foil, nice. Love that artwork on Shock Trooper. Um, let's see, I got a Olivia the Brook, two Olivias, three Olivias. Three Olivias, nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five Night Reapers. I think that Night Reaper, um, my bot has, or the Archmage has even picked that up and started using that. That's very interesting. Uh, spices things up in um, Earthquake Match. Um, and um, I like this Halfling Refugee because for one mana and two, two damage, even with uh, the Weary on it, I think it's almost a no-brainer. Uh, I like this. It's, it's like I, I like most of these. Uh, I like the artwork on the Shock Trooper. I haven't, still haven't found a really great use for him, although if, starting off at four mana with four damage, you can't overlook him. And um, Arcane Weaver, um, all uh, not Arcane, Arachne Weaver, sorry, um, is also very strong. Um, there's a Gold Foil uh, Kazi Conjurer. Okay, so everything looks good there. Um, and we are left... I've got to get, I've got 178. Um, we are left with legendaries. So let's get two legendary draws, right? And of course, use the alchemy potions on those. Got to beef up my legendaries a little bit. We got an Ember Guard. And that is, no, it's not gold foil. It's just surrounded in yellow. And we got an Endless Gibbon. I see they've changed things around a little bit. So it makes it kind of hard to tell if it's a gold foil or not because they surround it all with yellow. Plus they put the word legendary. Now, uh, I'll draw you. Let's go ahead and go over to, yeah, this is the right thing. Now, I will. maybe I've missed this. Um, please call me out and tell me when they added this to the game. But I saw somebody else on their video point this out. And I'm sorry, I forget who did it. Um, but they've added this combine all cards button at the top. I think it was um, um, KGM Jam pointed this out. Now, this is great. This is a great quality of life um, because otherwise uh, I would have to cut this video and go through here and combine these all by hand. Um, and it would take a lot of times. So last time I did it for video, it took me like, half hour 40 minutes to go through and combine them all and then come back and start the video again um, just so i wouldn't waste your time right but the combine all cards button is a great addition plus they point out that this will combine as many cards as possible from the currently displayed list additional cards past max level will not be combined this cannot be undone and obviously they're warning you because in some situations you might not want to combine um everything. Maybe you're just going to a certain level and holding extra BCX for another reason. I don't know. But in this case, this is a new rewards card set. I'm just, my first goal is just to max these cards out, right? So let's go ahead and confirm. Okay, now let's go ahead and go through and look where we wound up. Okay, level fives. Okay, my commons all ended up at level five. So that's pretty simple. Um, they're getting borderline into, uh, I guess, depending upon the exact situation, they might be useful now um, in certain search situations. Um, let's go ahead and look at my rares. And we've got level two, three, mostly level threes for rares. Um, some level twos thrown in there. This Commander Slade, I think he's uh, going to shape up to be a very interesting card when he maxes out. This is just the definition of a pure tank. Five, six, seven shield, uh, uh, 10 health. He's got Enfeeble, he's got Dodge, he's got Reflection Shield and Backfire. That's like the pure definition of a, of a tank. So let's go ahead and go back and look at Epics. Now, my Olivia the Brook is at level three which is one of my concerns uh, because I want to get her maxed out. She's a very strong and very interesting card. Um, Night Reapers at level two, Refugees at level two, uh, Ar uh, Arachne Weaver. I always want to say Arcane, but it's Arachne Weaver at level two. 
So, and my conjurer is only level one. So a good mixture of level two and three. And of course, my legendaries are all gonna be mostly level one. Uh, I do have a few at level two though. I still don't have that beer guy. I want to get the beer guy. Uh, either way, um, you know, I think uh, it's it's making good progress. Uh, like I said, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, uh, buy this many cards every single um, uh, season. But while I have the extra, I might as well. Um, so let's go ahead and end this up uh, and buy. Uh, oh, yeah. The Hall of Legends starts in less than a day. Uh, so if you're interested in those cards, they'll be up for sale pretty soon. Um, let's go into Guild. And I have 5,000. So let's go ahead and buy two Gladius cases. Okay, and that means I have nine Gladius cases I can open. Now let's go back and just use the rest of our merits, not too many merits left over, on Bloodstones. Uh, uh, 30, 35, oh, 32. Okay, close enough. I can get 32. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what bloodstones are, they're very much like potions, except for their use for Gladius cards, uh, Gladius packs, and this uh, the bloodstones are one of the items you can get when you level up your guild, have uh, the guild store, and have access to, but you still have to buy them. But um, they're like using potions, right? It improves the odds of getting a legendary card. Okay, let's go ahead and open my nine Gladius cases. And it will use those bloodstones for whatever they're worth. And see what I get here. Because once again, the Gladius cards are a, some of the most powerful cards in the game. They take a super long time. Hey, it's legendary. A super long time to level up. Um, but they're very powerful. I like this. Um, uh, it's an overall improvement, I think. They're working on the graphics in the game. You can see that the cards, not only um, they've improved where they have like a little glowing background to tell you your rarity, but they also give the uh, rarity name underneath it. Nice upgrade. Thanks, uh, Nate and team. Good job. Okay, so my legendary is Tatiana Blade. And I'm not sure if I have one of her. I only have like one other of her. Got a gold foil Bertrall. Uh, two Catrolbas. Those are always welcome. Uh, Lisa Fox. A lot of these I use frequently. Um, Gorth. Hardly ever use him. A Captain Katie. Uh, perennial favorite. And Isgald Vorst. I use him pretty often as well. So let's go over and look at, just the, as a way to finish up here, let's look at the Gladiator cards. And let's go ahead and do a combine. Okay, once again, we're going to do uh, the same thing like we just looked at the other cards. So um, I've been collecting these cards ever since they started. They came out, and you can see that my commons are sitting at level five. There's one of them that's level six. My rares are sitting at level four. The epics I have are sitting all at level three. And my legendaries are all mostly level one. Like I said, this is the one I just got, and that is the first one of that. Let's take a look at her. I'm not familiar with her. Uh, if you have a good uh, situation to put her in or where you would use her, leave it in the comments. Uh, not that I'll probably ever see her maxed out, but maxed out, she has close range, bloodlust, dodge, inspire, and true strike. Nice. Probably never get that. I mean, it's taken this long, and this is the first BCX of this card I've gotten. 
Either way, this has been Bronze Dragon. Hope you enjoyed looking at me spending a bunch of glint and improving my uh, uh, Rebellion Rewards card set. Let me know what you got in your last purchase and uh, how you're doing, how your card set is doing since it released uh, a few weeks ago. This has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you in Splinterlands. Thank you.